Hello, business people. Um, so, welcome to our uh, lesson 2. So, sa uh, MS Excel tutorial series. So, this lesson will discuss how to customize your Microsoft Excel environment. So, let's go! So before we will start, I just like to invite you to subscribe no, to my channel, YouTube channel, Yamex TV. Uh, ito yung mga content niya, meron tayong biking, uh, meron tayong business, tutorial, and taxation, may, may taxation pa. No? So para hindi lang, ano, hindi lang isa lang ginagawa natin activities sa life natin. No? So may biking din tayo, and para balance yung life. Okay, so please subscribe and click the notification bell. Okay, so let's start. So let us open no, our Microsoft Excel application. Okay, then click blank workbook. Okay, so this is the, our user interface or our environment, the working environment. So we can customize our environment no yung depende sa gusto natin. No just like example ito. Ay yung munang white background. So you can change that background no. Yan. So gusto mo ng ganitong font. So you can change that font. So that will be your environment. Just like yung sa ano rin yung sa, uh, sa office work mo no. Yung sa table mo, yung environment kung ayo mo linisin mo yung table mo. So this is true with also with Microsoft Excel, no? So, ako, mas gusto ko yung white background, no? Kasi, uh, para hindi sasakit yung, ano ko, yung mata ko, no? Okay? So, to change the Microsoft Office Excel environment, okay, just click yung file, then, go to options, no? File, then, options, then, mag-appear na, um, dialog box no ito excel options okay so at the left portion merong mga ano dito uh, mga mga functions na ano na you can ano you can customize no so let's start with the general um, settings ng Microsoft Excel so dito sa user interface no you can select no yung you can show or unshow the mini toolbar no so pag i-click i ano mo yan i mouse over mo yung ano mo may lalabas din na info no info ano yung mini toolbar so to to give you an idea what is a mini toolbar so labas muna tayo dito okay okay muna tayo Okay, click mo yung cell dito. So, may lalabas dito na ito. This, ito yung tawag nating mini toolbar. Okay? So, yan. Okay? So, we will leave that check, no? Kung ano yung default. Iano na lang natin yan, no? Okay, sundin. Okay? So, we will not edit this one, no? So, just uh keep this no that as it is no in default niya okay then dito sa ano uh, when creating new workbook so anong gusto niyo mangyari okay so sa font so ano yung gusto niyo no font yung body font ba so may pagpipilian kay dito no okay so just select yung body font no so font size naman you can select so kung Nalilitan kasi 11, you can select 12, no? Ganyan. Then, yung new sheets mo is normal view or may break, no? Page break mo siya, no? Na, at, or may page layout. So, ang normal natin na ginagawa is yung normal view talaga, no? Ito, yung mag-open natin. Okay, then include how many sheets. So, you can, uh, okay, let's make it 2, no? Kasi, di ba, yung pag-open natin, isa lang so we can change this to ano um, 
two sheets no every time i op mag mag create tayo ng new workbook okay yung username then the office background okay so the office background so you can select dito so yung background mapupunta siya dito so uh, for example let us select ano uh, school supplies no yan then office team natin pwedeng dark gray yan pwedeng colorful pwedeng dark gray so let us select dark gray okay so that's it no yan yun yung pwede nating i-edit dito then click okay so, as you can see, no, uh, so, my dialog box again, no, info box, no, na, nagsabi na you can, please close and restart Microsoft so that font changes can take effect, no, so, may, may ano tayo na, na change tayo doon na, ano, na, na, ano, na, settings na, kailangan natin mag-restart ng Excel, hindi, hindi, ano, hindi yung computer restart natin, hindi yung Excel lang mismo, Okay, kasi, di ba, iniba natin yung font size to 12. Okay, then click OK. Then, to, kasi pag mag-type na dyan, 11 pa rin yan. Okay, so, ang gagawin natin, i-close natin yung Excel natin. No? So, don't save lang, no? Don't save. Then, click tayo ng panibagong uh, file, no? So, makikita nyo, yung background nyo is green na. Then, uh, yung ano niya is 12 na. Kita niyo dyan 12, di ba? Yan na. 12. Okay? So, ito yung ano, sinasabi kong ano niya, background na dito. May mga lapis, di ba? Ito. Makita niyo. Kasi pag white ito, makita niyo talaga. Okay? So, let us go back, no? I, ano natin, i, palitan natin ng white, no? White, no? i-return natin sa white background then click ok yan, so yan, makita nyo na yung kanyang uh, teams and we have already ano, two sheets na no, sa new workbook natin no? yung na-change natin kanina na two sheets no, sa new workbook so let us go back sa options ok, so merong formulas din dito so, dito sa taas, uh, keep it, no? As it is. And, ito, no? Uh, pwede nyo i-change yung, di ba? Yung column natin is letter. Pwede nyo i-change sa number, no? Just, uh, i-check nyo lang ito, then click OK. No? Click nyo yung OK. So, mag-change siya na sa, from letter to number. Okay? So, return lang natin yung kanyang uh, default setting, no? So, ito, no? Keep this, ano, yung default, yung formula, autocomplete, no? Pag mag-type ka ng uh, mga functions, hindi mo, 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 mo kailangan na i-type lahat na mag-autocomplete siya. Okay? Then, na pa, sa data, so wala tayo masyadong, ano, uh, change dito. Pati rin sa proofing, yung, ano niya, uh, autocorrect, no? Option. And save okay so ito yung ano niya uh, mga y yung ano yung pag mag ano ka gagawin ng excel meron siyang recovery file no mag mag save siya every 10 minutes so kung hindi mo siya na save no for example nag for example nag ang nag work ka sa isang pc no nag brown out hindi mo na save you can recover your file no just go just go in this ano uh, location no ito ito yung kanyang location or you can change this file no saan mo gustong i-save yung uh, auto recover file mo then you can also um, change the location no, or default location of your excel no ito kung mag-save ka ng excel okay and the language english no accessibility so wala tayo masyadong ano dito uh, it change the advance ok so just leave it as it is ok ok next is uh, we can customize also the our, ano, our 
ribbon no we can add something here no na add na command no additional command so to do that uh, go to customize ribbon no sa ating excel option then okay so let us add ano um okay uh, commands not in the ribbon okay so that's fine yung select visible cell okay select visible cell mapin natin si select visible cell ito no this one okay then to add this one no we need to um, create new group no kasi hindi natin sila ma-add dito sa mga existing group natin sa home okay so create new group just click yung new group ito then rename natin yung group natin new group rename click rename no then type natin other command no other command other command so click ok so then na siya then you can now add uh, yung ano natin select visible cells to this one no add command then click andyan na siya then click ok so pwede natin siyang hanapin dito andyan na siya no new group ok yung ating uh, new command na wala sa ribbon ok then we can also add that one sa ating quick access toolbar so we can edit also our quick access toolbar so from its name quick access no so kung ano yung mga lagi mong ginagamit na mga commands pwede mong ilagay dito just like yung save no redo undo no sort okay so to customize that one click yung arrow down dito then uh, you can add no something na nandito for example quick print Okay, so just click quick print. Yan, andyan na siya. Ang quick print. Okay, and you can also add uh, from from ano, uh, nawala dito. Okay, so just click just click more commands. So, i-add natin itong select visible cells dito sa uh, quick access toolbar. Uh, click, select dito sa choose commands from click commands not in ribbon in the ribbon then hanapin natin yung uh, select visible cell ito then click add yan then click ok so andyan na si visible cell ok so that's all no, sa lesson na to and again uh, don't forget to subscribe and Click the notification bell para laging updated. Okay, so have a good day!